So we have the bananas in the bowl. Uh, let's see, let's, we have uh, some oranges. Now the oranges, obviously we can't use the same trick by selecting the background that we did before with the bananas because the oranges have a shadow. So we can't, it's difficult to select that background because it's not uniformly white. Uh, instead, we could do a couple of things. Uh, we could start, let's just get rid of that by um, going in and creating a just a shape a roughly orange shaped circle and here I'm going to stress that it doesn't matter if I have something that perfectly matches the original shape of the orange just that it look smooth and clean when it's done so I could do something like that that cuts off a bit of that edge I could go in and use a combination of different tools. I could start with the circle, then go select, transform selection, right click, uh, I want distort, though I might want skew, I, I often get the two confused. And just, again, it doesn't have to be precise, but I want something that's just a tiny bit closer to the edge there, but without showing any white. And again, this will get me something that's kind of like what I want. And like I said, it doesn't have to be precise. Hit return, copy and paste. And there's my, my orange selection. Both of those are perfectly fine. Or I could go in and if I want to see if I can get something that's uh, fairly close to the good one. Could try the magnetic lasso and this might be a situation where it's going to do a better job than what I could get with the color selection tools and it will be also a little bit tighter than what I could well by tighter I mean closer to the original than what I could get with the just using the elliptical marquee but here you can see it's going a little bit funky here that's because the color is so close and the contrast is so close between this and the orange next to it. So this would be where I could go in and just click manually to kind of go in and finish that off. And then click there, copy, paste, and let's have a look at it. So yeah, no real difference between that and the one that was done with the just the outline using the elliptical marquee. Maybe a little bit of difference, but when you get it in the in the bowl, you're not gonna be able to tell the difference. And uh, just select the one you want. So here I would just go Command A, and you see when you select everything on a layer and there's only a little part with pixels, then it's going to kind of, if you move it around, it will just contract that selection outline. And then Command C, go to the bowl, uh, command paste, and boy, that's a big orange. Uh, so I guess we have to uh, scale it down. And for that, again, we're using command T. Now it probably would have uh, made sense to do this a little bit before I brought it in because it is just so much bigger than the, uh, the bowl canvas. I'm using the um, space bar. It temporarily brings up the hand tool so that I can just kind of reposition to reach those corners. And then just scale it, that looks maybe a little bit smaller. And there, that's close to the size I would expect in relation to the bananas. So let's just move the bananas over a little bit. And uh, this one doesn't have a, a name yet, so this should be this should be orange. So I'm going to go in and type that in. Again, it's always a good idea to name your layers. So a couple of different ways to do selections. Uh, some don't actually involve selection to, at all. It, you, they involve using the magic eraser tool to go in and get rid of just the background.